My name is Ngo Tiam Meng. I'm a guitar maker. I've been doing this for 11 years. Usually when I mention that I'm a guitar maker, they will say, oh, they were so surprised. It, can it be made uh, you know, in Singapore? Or, or maybe they were saying, oh, guitar? It's, I thought it's made by machine. From a young age, um, I've been exposed to music at home because my, my father uh, plays the erhu and um, I'm used to listening to him, practicing at home and um, so sometimes he will, you know, he will be at the kitchen, you know, sawing away, creating a lot of noise and sawdust. I was wondering what he's doing so I realized that he's actually making an erhu for himself. Actually, my father didn't uh, teach me how to make erhu, but I think th some things are taught, some things are caught. So in 2005, when my father passed away, I decided to, um, to have a way to mourn for him. So I was um, thinking that maybe I should build a guitar. And that's what I did. Um, so after about 17 months of preparation, gathering the materials and building a workbench I, I got started to make uh, my first guitar and which, which took me 305 hours over 19 months um, I still remember that four months after making the first guitar I actually did my first guitar repair and it was my student's guitar that was blown off the window latch and uh, the, the headstock was dangling and then he was asking if I know anybody who can repair the guitar. So, so, um, so I did, and but I didn't really do a good, good job, especially in the you know, in making the colors correct. But I I, I did uh, repair the guitar successfully structurally. So he was asking how much do I charge. So I was, I was saying um, maybe you shouldn't pay me because I'm not a guitar repairman. Yeah, so that, but that's how I got started, uh, and I started to do more and more repairs. There was, there was no one that is, uh, that is making guitars locally, so I have to pick up from books, uh, from the internet, um, and 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 so I, and I realized that the best way to learn to make, is to make. So to date, I've made uh, about two hundred guitars very happy by making their guitars uh, very playable. Most of my clients are full-time musicians, um, some, some teachers, um, some performers, and um, of course there are amateurs also. Not many know that uh, you can actually restore, uh, it's only to the extent of uh, you know, how extensive the repair is and as such how expensive the service will be. I have um, customers who, who have a, cer a certain sentimental value with their guitars and they would pay me to restore their guitars even a few times more than the price of their possession. I, I build guitars uh, from scratch, um, from blocks of wood. Okay. It, it takes a longer time but that gives me much uh, satisfaction and also the control of materials that I, I can use from the start to, to control the outcome of the instrument at the end. Generally it takes about, I mean for, for, for my process it takes about seven months to two years for one guitar. One of the most um, challenging tasks um, is to get materials, especially locally it's uh, so it's very, very difficult, and also tools, uh, which most of them has been bought from overseas. But still some of the tools you have to make yourself. And um, so I, I, I still remember that you know, there was once, while I was making my first guitar, uh, I, was, I still remember I was in Balestier Road looking for some materials. And then I, I was so devastated because I couldn't find it anywhere. I walked the whole road. And then I remembered, oh, maybe that's how my father felt when he, he built. He would go around and find his, you know, 
his coconut to make his yehu. Yeah, and uh, so I, well, I still remember that you know I was walking and I was you know I recall this and then oh, I was I was crying and I was walking and wow yeah. So after a while, you you get to know more suppliers, so you are you are also more flexible in the materials you you can use, and I use traditional materials that are sourced from overseas. So I, I use spruce from Austria, uh, rosewood from India and Brazil, and from Honduras, and um, yes, and uh, of course the neck. Uh, which I use either Spanish cedar or mahogany. So these are all traditional materials that are found in fine instruments. And I built in the traditional Spanish style using mostly hand tools. Besides making the guitar, I, I, I do play the guitar. In fact, I started as a guitar teacher and uh, as, as a player, well, you you do get to enjoy what you create and you also get to be involved in the process uh, you know, uh, and to decide certain elements that you know, will benefit the player eventually. Making the guitar and playing one is a totally different story. And yes, but I, I, I love the process of uh, making one because it is very therapeutic. It is, it is probably the same as composing a, a beautiful epic music. And the, the, the one that benefits most is the person who actually go through the process. I see the joy of the player when he has the instrument in his hands. You know, but at the same time, after months and even years of uh, a process of creating the instrument, and finally you have to cut apron ties. So, um, as, as a maker, it's a, it's a sad day, but you, you know that it's in the hands of a, a person who's going to take this instrument to the next level. The satisfaction of, of doing what I'm doing yeah, it's priceless and it, it defines me. I wake up every morning looking forward to the day and yes, I will do this for a long time to come. <laughs>